Combat and damage. Oh, welcome back to this short, short form video series on the Fighting Fantasy RPG and the ways I'd like to hack at it. Now, combat in Fighting Fantasy is fairly free form. The players just run in, say what they'd like to do. The game master says what the monsters are doing. Everyone gets a chance to act once, and then the round is over. But the thing that sets Fighting Fantasy apart is that some of this gets to happen simultaneously due to contested roles. As we've talked about before, if you get stabbed by a spooky skelly, but you roll higher than them on your weapon check, and guess what? You're the one who gets to deal damage. What's important to note here, though, is that everybody can only deal damage once in the round. So you can be attacked by a bunch of spooky skellies and succeed all those rolls, but you're only dealing damage to one of them. Now, there are uncontested rolls in combat as well, such as firing an arrow or casting a spell. We'll get to that later. Uh, and those are a lot harder to get around the damage for, but abilities such as dodge do help, as well as armor. Now, damage. Well, you get to roll on a chart. Uh, you're rolling 1d6 and consulting a chart for your weapon to figure out just how many stamina points you have drained from your opponent. Usually this averages out to about 2 or 3 for most weapons. Monsters have their own charts and it averages about the same, maybe a point or two higher. Now, there are things the DM can do based on different combat situations, firing arrows into melee or weather effects that will change up the way you're rolling, such as imposing bonuses or penalties. Uh, and of course, there are critical hits and and fumbles as well, working pretty much how you'd expect. But would I change anything about this combat? Well, yes. I would introduce polyhedral dice for weapon damage, even if that is a bit derivative of d and I think in the year of our Lord 2020, it is very easy to get either a dice set or a dice calculator app on your phone for free, and that makes damage a lot more interesting than rolling on a chart. Uh, the other thing I would do is probably try to give combat a little more structure, maybe not an initiative system, but an action priority list similar to something like BX. Oh gosh, I think we're out of time, but hey, thanks for watching and tune in next time for another Fighting Fantasy video.